Hi Ruby Tuesdayers! Today we're doing something a little bit different. In the past I've had some requests as to what equipment we use to film with and I've covered that uh, what cameras we've used in the past but today we're going to do something a little bit special and we're going to be talking about a screen from BenQ and oh, why there you go. <laughs> a screen from BenQ and why it's a game changer for us well for me anyways. But let's get the specs out of the way first. So the EW 3270U is BenQ's ultimate 32 inch 4K HDR 60 Hz monitor which will play beautifully on PS4, Xbox, PC and Mac and also has HDR and more specifically HDR10. Wow, that actually sounds like a Street Fighter title or well, one of them. Street Fighter X 32. Street Fighter Alpha 3. I previously had issues with screens that I bought uh, previously because it, that they were meant to be HDR 4K, HDR 10, which they weren't, and some screens don't have them. This one does, so now we can play all of our games that require HDR 10 in 4K. Yeah. The ultra slim design of this monitor is 31.5 inches from corner to corner and has an aspect ratio of 16.9, and the fact that it's 4K means that the screen offers a 4K 3840 by 2160 resolution, which basically means that if you wanted to, you could put four HD screens inside this monitor without losing any resolution. Yeah, it has 3000 to 1 high contrast, it covers 95% of the DCI color gamut, and also has 300 nits. Not a nat, a nit. And what's a nit, you ask? Nits, it lies. No. <laughs> nits are used to describe brightness of the computer displays such as LCDs and CRT monitors. The power cable itself doesn't come with or need power banks, which is great because it takes up less space. It comes with quite a robust stand as this monitor is quite hefty. It looks like it's worth a lot. Are they heavy? Yeah. Then they're expensive. Put them back. And it's cool. And what I mean by that is its design. It has a chic grey finish and can tilt somewhat to change the angle. It boasts a 170 degree viewing angle, yeah, which I'm not sure why you would want to sit like that to watch Netflix or work, but maybe it just means that you can get a lot more people around you to watch with you. If you don't like the stand or need more space, it does have a mount on the back so that you can fix it to the wall or your face of your choosing. The monitor has two 2 watt downward facing speakers and to be honest they are not the greatest. Mm. It sounds a bit tinny but all you'd essentially use this for is the kind of any error messages you would get on say your PC. It does have a jack on the back yeah. so you can plug in your external speakers or surround sound unit. Next to the jack is a USB-C port, a display port and two 2.0 HDMI ports. One of my favourite things about this monitor is the fact that all of these ports face downwards which means that you don't need to clamber around to get to the back of it and again it saves space which is such a great feature. So switching between these ports is also super easy and there's no fiddly weirdness, a simple menu is brought up by a couple of buttons and voila Bob is your uncle. No need to get behind your monitor to switch out cables, you just press a couple of buttons and you're done. There is also a power button and a HDR button which allows us to use the brightness intelligent modes. So HDR, what's the big deal? Ah. High dynamic resolution which basically means the whites are whiter and the darks are darker. You see the image more clearly, more vibrantly which allows us to see more like uh, the human eye does, or the human eye can see. Well, depending on your eyesight, that is. Yeah. Ah! So one of the reasons for the magical button is the fact that the screen will try to, when the button is on, obviously, uh, it will try to mimic true HDR. So we're talking about the source of what you're viewing. If you're viewing something that is not HDR, the button, when it's on, will actually emulate HDR, making the darks darker, etc. And here lies one of the big damn heroes on this monitor. Big damn hero, sir! Thanks. The fact that it is true HDR. If you follow the Ruby Tuesday then you'll know that we do a lot of Netflix reviews. Yeah. We have a good partnership with them going and so we want to keep our reviews fresh and fun as possible. One of the one of the new functions from Netflix along with YouTube, Apple TV, Amazon Prime TV is HDR streaming. Yeah. We do a lot of binge watching uh, or and general reviewing for our Netflix reviews. So this means we get to watch it in truly stunning resolution and clarity. Yeah. And if you're looking for a gaming monitor, then this would be a great choice too. It's not just a screen for your PC or Mac. This monitor has a 4 microsecond refresh rate and with HDR10 it's perfect for gaming. Obviously, 
Everything we've mentioned about the screen already sounds pretty fantastic. The 4K, the 32 inches, 60 gigahertz, HDR, it's design. But one of the features that has BenQ really excited about their product is the BI mode. BI stands for brightness intelligence, which means it has eye care technology built right into it. Yeah, this is a massive plus for me. I'm very dyslexic and um, I work on monitors anywhere from six hours to 12 hours a day. What I find is when I get tired and my eyes are, my eyes are strained my spelling and grammar and dyslexia play up even more than usual so having a monitor that automatically adjusts to the light in the room reducing my eye strain which in turn reduces my headaches and improves my work output and timing of my schedules because I'm not trying to adjust the light of the monitor or worse that I've forgotten the eye strain and lighting issues until I get a migraine or my whole document is highlighted in red because of the spelling and grammar issues yeah. love love this feature yeah and to top it off Another great feature is the fact that it is flicker free as well, which means that I get less headaches too. Woohoo! I should mention that to run this as a monitor for your PC or Mac, you'll probably need a fairly powerful one as the GPU will need to be able to keep pushing that signal out. Also, although you can play games at 4K HDR for it to be true HDR 10, it needs to have 1000 nits, not 300. Mm. But those are just a couple of points that you should be aware of. I am personally loving the screen and I should mention that BenQ did send us this monitor, but this is not a sponsored video and we are not getting paid by them. I've tried and tested this monitor and the points I've gone through are what I believe are as unbiased as possible. If you like the look of this monitor and you want to pick up one for yourself, then just click the Amazon link, which I'll leave below. And if you've enjoyed this video, then please give us a thumbs up and let us know what you think about the monitor or if you believe that yours is better, perhaps mm -hmm. you can let us know why in the comments below. And as always, thank you for watching and remember, live long and live Tuesday. Live long and Tuesday. I was trying to jump the gun. You were. <laughs>